Hi guys, so today I am here with an exciting video. This is going to be a Shop Miss A haul, which if you guys saw the title, you're probably like, what is she talking about? Basically, these are all items from a website called shopmissa.com and everything on the website is literally a dollar. There's accessories, there's hair things, there's, there's cosmetics, there's eyelashes, there's literally so much stuff on this website and everything is a dollar which is absolutely crazy and when they contacted me and asked if I wanted to kind of receive some items from them I was really really interested in it because everything's a dollar so you don't really know if anything's gonna be like hit or miss and you're kind of I don't know I was just really interested to kind of see the quality of everything so they let me pick out some items so I have everything here in this little mailer with the Shop Miss A tape on it to show you and I'm also going to be doing a giveaway with shopmissa.com so if you're interested in winning this giveaway kind of seeing what the prizes are how to enter I will put all of that information in the description so make sure to check that out if you're interested in winning anything from this website but yeah I picked out 35 things which seems like a lot but it's only $35 which is literally nothing honestly anymore for a piece of jewelry so I'm just gonna go ahead start pulling things out showing you what I got and I think you guys are going to be really excited about it. And just keep in mind, guys, everything's a dollar. That's crazy to me. So the first thing in here is something that Brian was really obsessed with because he's been wanting me to get one forever. And it's a little flower headband. This one is so cute. They have a lot of different colors, but I decided just to get the plain pink and white because I think it's really cute. Um, and it's really good quality, too, which is nice. Actually, I probably wouldn't do it like that because my bangs are long now. I would do it like this. Oh. This is so cute. This would have been perfect for spring, summer, so I'll definitely have to save it for then. But the quality on this is really nice. It's just a nice headband that you could honestly get anywhere. And the flowers seem to be pretty much intact. Like, they don't look like they're going anywhere. So, really excited about this. It just says accessorize on the tag. So, this was a dollar. That's crazy because I know they sell these at PacSun for like 15, which is nuts. A dollar. I guess I'll kind of stick with the whole hair accessory situation. The only other hair accessory I got is this little clip. I've been wanting to get little like cute clips for a while because I typically just use like regular bobby pins to pin my bangs back if they're getting in my way, which I haven't been doing lately. But I wanted to get something cute, so I saw this one I thought, you know, this is pretty girly. This is not really my style, but I'll definitely give it a shot. So it's this cute little pin with like a rhinestone heart on it. Oh, there we go. That's really cute. I really like that. That's a cute little hair piece. Honestly, I probably won't end up using it, but if I end up having a girl, I will use this on her, or I have friends that have children that would probably like this as well, so if I don't have a girl, this would be cute too. So I got this as well. And I guess I'll just do all of the like random stuff, and then I'll do the jewelry. So I got like three or four random things. The first two things are little like, um, not plugs, but little like you know what I'm talking about? Little accessories for your phone that you can put in the little headphone joint and it looks really, really cute. So I got two of them because I've seen them before and I just think they're adorable. This first one is, I don't know how to open it, actually. This first one's a little crown, which I've seen crowns before, so I thought this one was really cute. It's gold and pink. Let's put it in, the headphone jack. I don't know, because like my headphone jack is at the bottom, so I have an iPhone 5. Um, what is it? 5S? I have an iPhone 5S. And I think it'd be cuter if you had like a 4 because you could put it on the top. But that's really cute. It's just a little, um, a little crown. I'm sorry. I'm like losing my train of thought. And then I saw these and I was like, these are so cute. They are little Starbucks cups and they even have the Starbucks logo on them. And you can choose like which color you got. So I got like the caramel frappuccino kind of color. And I thought it was super cute as well. This is probably one that I would have just used all the time on my four. So this is super cute as well. They have a ton of these little charms. Another random thing I got is a keychain because I needed a little like key ring slash chain to put my house key and my mailbox key and everything on and I love the little white tusks so I just got this white tusk one there's a ton of colors but I liked the white one the bestest I think they're really really cute and it says it was handmade and it was only a dollar so pretty nice another random thing I got they have a lot of nail accessories but I'm really not big in a nail art I haven't painted my nails in a hot minute but I thought these were really cool they're French nail tip guides so they're little stickers that you can put um, on your nails when you're painting them to kind of help you do French nails. So I got these. Then I got um, a few products from e.l.f. They do sell e.l.f. cosmetics on their website and I didn't want to get too many cosmetics just because I'm, I already have a lot and I'm trying to like not buy any more makeup but 
it's kind of hard, but there was a few things that I wanted. The first being an eyelash curler because mine is going to shreds, and I figured it's a dollar, might as well. Elf products are a dollar anyway at Target. I also got the e.l.f. Wet Gloss Lash and Brow Clear Mascara. My friend Kaylin from The Kaylin Theory uses this and swears by it. Um, I think she actually uses just like the brow one, but this is just the clear one, so I figured this would be perfect for me. I got this, which I've never seen before. It's the e.l.f. Zip Zapper Acne Treatment. I figured I'd give it a try. If it works, then it's only a dollar, and that's a really good thing. So I'm definitely going to try this because I've been breaking out a lot recently, so kind of excited. And the last thing that I got from e.l.f. is just this blending eye brush. I've been in need, honestly, of a new blending, kind of like smaller domed brush. So I figured I'll just get this. It's a dollar. I do like the e.l.f. brushes anyway, so pretty excited. And I got four pairs of eyelashes I love eyelashes although I'm horrible at putting them on but I still like them so they're beautiful so I got these these are the Kara eyelashes they're 100% human hair and these are in the number s5 these are really natural and pretty then I got these which are number 747 L these are really long and like really flirty looking so I'm excited about those these are the number 217s they're still natural but a little thicker and then these are from Stardle lash um, also 100% human hair, and these are SF01s, and these are super thick and dramatic, so I'm excited about those too. The last two kind of like cosmetic items I got were two pigments from the brand Clean Color. I've heard of this brand before, but like I've never tried anything, obviously. Um, but these were both a dollar, like I said, everything was a dollar. And these are the Airy Minerals Loose Powder Eyeshadows. And the reason I got these was because they're two colors that I've really been wanting in my collection, and I just can never find anywhere. So this first one is in... Once Upon a Time, which is like a really pretty, like, light mango-y color. They open like that. It's like a nice, like, light mango-y, shimmery color, and I've really been looking for a color like this for a while, so I'm excited about that. And then this one's more of like a brick, kind of like coppery color. I can never open this one. It's like a bricky, reddish, coppery, shimmery, like, Dorothy Slippers kind of color. Really pretty. I'm excited about this one as well. And honestly, you can never really go wrong with pigments. They have a ton of different colors. Those were just the two colors that I really wanted, so I got those two. Now we're going to move on to the jewelry aspect of this. I kind of went crazy in the jewelry department because they had a lot of really cute jewelry. And it's just, honestly, like, I don't have that much jewelry here at, you know, my apartment with Brian. I have a lot at my parents' house, but I don't have a lot here. So I kind of wanted to stock up. So the first is an ankle bracelet. And I love ankle bracelets. I think they're so pretty. And I know it's not going to be summer anymore, but it's still kind of hot where I live. Still pretty humid. So I figured I could get away with wearing one. And this one was really, like, dainty, but it's this, like, layered silver ankle bracelet with, like, these fake little rhinestones on it. And I just figured this would be really pretty, really dainty, and it would just look really, really nice. And I got some earrings, which you guys are probably really confused about if you know me. You know that I have stretched ears, but I do also have my second holes pierced as well as my cartilage. I have something in there right now, but I did get a pair of earrings that I just really, really wanted. And you know, honestly, if I end up with stretched ears forever and I don't go back to, you know, normal size, I'll just give these away. But these are super cute, like little rhinestone flowers. I've seen these everywhere. These are stunning. They have a lot of these on the website. And I just figured these are stunning. So I got these. I got one of those cuff earrings, which I was really excited about. I've seen a lot of these, but I've never personally owned one. And it's this pretty, like, blue kind of uh, leaf design. So the bottom is the actual earring, which is just a blue earring that I could put in my second hole. And then it kind of goes up to where I would put it in my cartilage. And it has, like, the little thing. It's really pretty. Then I got a couple packs of just, like packs of earrings. Uh, the first were these little roses, which I figured were super cute. Tons of colors. I really like the light, kind of like peachy color. I like both of these, actually, and the mint. You know what? I just like all the colors. I think these are really pretty, too. I just got these. They're super, super, super pretty. And then I got just a pack of rhinestone ones, because honestly, you can never go wrong with a bunch of these. And I got a couple of rings. I'm always really, like, weary about ordering or just getting rings online because I have very, very, very small fingers. So, you know, a lot of rings don't really fit me. And that was kind of the case for a couple of these, or for this one at least. I haven't tried the other ones on. But they have a lot of midi rings, but um, a lot of them were out of stock, so I was really sad about that. But I did find a couple that I really liked. So this first one, it's a size 18, which is massive on me. But it's one of those double rings, which is super cool. I'll show you on my thumb. 
So it kind of like comes down here and then it's also up here too, which I think is really, really cool. And if you have bigger fingers, this would look really nice on you. And then I got these, which are a size 20. Oh my goodness. I'll probably end up re-gifting these to someone. And these were just like a little pack of rings that they, they come apart. Um, but let me put them on my thumb. And they're just plain like silver rings with just little rhinestones on them. And I thought these were really cute too. Then I got a few bracelets. I really like bracelets, so I wanted to get a few of them. And again, I have really, really small wrists, so bracelets also are really hard to find. So I tried to get some bracelets that are adjustable, so that way I can actually fit them onto my wrists. So the first one I got is this one, this little like blue kind of like handmade looking one and it has two infinity symbols on it and it is also adjustable, it has a little clasp so that's super nice and I just liked the blue color, I thought the blue color was really pretty. The next bracelet I got is one of the bracelets that I used to wear all the time back in middle and high school and I love it, I just love the design, I just like the way they look, that really like beachy handmade design and it's this like teal blue with like little balls with this like gold ball in the middle super adjustable which is really nice I probably could just like put this right on here this is what they look like on I think it's just so pretty I'm gonna leave this one on but I just like the way these look I used to wear these all the time so I really like this one the next one I got I'm not sure if it's adjustable oh it might be adjustable I'm not too sure is this a bracelet yeah it is this is really cute um, this is one of those like stretchy ones, but it has little pearls and then little gold rhinestones and that's really cute too. Also adjustable. This could look really, really pretty if I was going like on a date with Brian and I wore like a dress or something. This would look really, really nice and it's only a dollar, which is super nice. And the last bracelet I got is another adjustable one. This one is also super stunning. It's this like silver chain. And then it has like a thicker chain on the top and it has like little rhinestones in it. Again, like I said, it's adjustable so I can fit it to my wrist, but that is so pretty too. I really like this one. And it's from the brand Superstar. And then I got a lot of necklaces because I told you guys in my summer loving tag that I'm obsessed with statement jewelry and I don't own that many statement pieces. So I figured, you know what, now's the time to stock up. So I got a bunch of statement pieces. <laughs> And a lot of these necklaces came with um, like a set of earrings, which I probably, well they're small, so I probably could wear them, but um, yeah, I didn't know that, I didn't even know that. So this is the first necklace. It looks like this. It's nice, long, and silver. I think it's adjustable. It is adjustable, so you can make the chain shorter if you like, which I like these ones kind of shorter. I've seen things like this at like Forever 21 and stuff, so I think that's really cool. And this one comes with a little pair of rhinestone earrings. This next one I really liked, but I didn't know what color to get it in because a lot of the ones that I got I wanted to get in mint, but I figured mint like was so overdone. I've had so many mint stuff, so I decided to get it in yellow. So it's this gold chained necklace, a little, a little small statement one. I like the small statement ones, and it's got like yellow little um, stones on it so I figured this one would be really cute as well this next one also comes with a set of like diamond rhinestone earrings but it's this silver necklace with these like blue kind of like snowflake looking um, state like snowflake looking I guess statement pieces I don't know how to describe that snowflake looking things that's what I'm trying to say this would be really pretty in the winter time I really like this this is so cute. Like this with like a, you know, like a cream sweater would be really, really, really pretty. This one though, it gets like tangled really easily. But there's that one. That's pretty. Next one's pretty long, but I've seen necklaces like this again at like Forever 21 and I really like them. It's this long like silver, like triple silver chain. And then it kind of stops right here with a couple of rhinestones. And then it kind of continues with tassels. I think this is really pretty. I think this would be really nice with like kind of like a v-neck style shirt because then you'd be able to see like the um, rhinestones and everything would kind of like lay on your skin nicely. This one also comes with a pair of earrings that I'm probably never going to wear but super cute. I really like this one. The next one I got is kind of because I got a gold like chain necklace from H&M so I figured I might as well get like a silver one. This one seems really like choker-esque but it's just this like silver chain necklace. Looks really, really small, like very chokery. So hopefully it's not, oh, you can see it's adjustable. That's good. I was gonna say, hopefully it's not too tight on my neck, but I got this one as well. Next one kind of is the same thing as like a chain necklace, kind of. So it has like the two kind of just regular, um, 
chains but then it goes into that kind of like regular silver chain which I like I do like both silver and gold jewelry so I really like this I got a lot more silver than gold but I really like this one I think this one's gonna be something that's easy to wear every day next necklace came with some uh, very oh it's broken Dang it. Okay, so this necklace is broken, but I think there's a way I can fix it. But it came with these really statement, like, earrings. I think there's a way if I had pliers, which we do somewhere, I could fix this. So this necklace came broken. It's just a golden chain, but it has these really pretty silver, or not silver, <laughs> blue, teal, little, like, ball, like, little beads at the end with some rhinestones. I can see where this kind of broke off, but the chain is still open, like, the little piece. So if I just got some pliers, I could probably just fix this easily. But then again, you know, you never know what to expect. Everything's a dollar. So I figured one thing would be, it might be broken. So I'm happy it's just one. And then the last piece of jewelry and the last thing I have to show you is this necklace as well. It's again on a gold chain. And it's just this kind of like light kind of baby blue rhinestones. And I really like the way these look too. They're really like, I just like the hard kind of like bar situation. I think that's really cute. So this is the last thing I have. So that is everything from Shop Miss A that I received. Again, if you're interested in winning anything from Shop Miss A, definitely check out the description. I have a giveaway going on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe to me if you're not already. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.